How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day today. If you guys are new to my channel, I design some sort of fishing lure and then make it 3D printable. Make it, show you guys how to make it, and at the end of the video you guys can download it for free and make it yourself. So for this video I wanted something simple yet deadly effective and I wanted to make a saltwater bait. I've only posted one saltwater soft plastic so far and it's not really practical. I guess is the word. So for this video, we went for the fluke grub. Now this is just your regular old uh, ribbed grub with a curly tail on the end of it. I'm specifically making it for fluke or summer flounder as it's known everywhere else. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work for any other inshore species depending on where you're located at and even freshwater in the smaller varieties. I'm sure there's big enough freshwater fish out there that'll hit this thing. So all I did for this was make a tube shaped body for the body of the lure, threw some ribs on it, and then added the curly cute tail on the end. Then I just threw a mold box around it, made the vent holes and the uh, sprue hole and everything to inject the plastic in, and then that was it. Now originally I was going to make three separate videos, one for each size of this lure, but that felt kind of slimy to me. So for this video, so now let's get into testing this bad boy out. So this was my original video idea. This is a 5 inch fluke rub that I actually caught a fish on already. Caught a nice 21 inch fluke. This was designed how I said it would. How we're going to be designing things to be resin printer compatible now. Although this is printed in PETG, it can also be printed on a resin printer. There's no more pegs. Now we're using these little quarter inch bolts with washers and wing nuts to attach the two molds together. So originally I was just going to do one 5 inch mold and call it a day, but since I picked up a new printer, I got an Anycubic Photon Mono X, I figured I'd make a nice resin mold. Now what's special about this is this has a heat deflection temperature of well over 300 degrees, so that means no more warping, no more layer lines, and this one is semi-transparent, so you should be able to see the plastic going in. Now the one major downside to resin printing is the price. This mold uses three quarters of a bottle of resin, which when it's not on sale comes out to $30. So to save us all some money and time, I decided to make a four, five, and six inch flute grub in the same mold. So every time you shoot this, you get one of each. It saves on print time, saves on money. What more can you want? So we're gonna inject this a couple times. So we're gonna heat up some plastic and go from there. So this is the white color we're going to be using. It's white with black flake in it. And this is our mold all put together. This takes a little bit longer to put together than usual, but I think it's going to be well worth it because it's a lot cheaper to buy, a, you know, a box of bolts and washers rather than get a bunch of clamps. These middle bolts help a lot to stop flashing and the plastic go in between the lures. So it saves you more time in the long run. Should be ready to inject now. 309, close enough. We're also using the new 8 ounce injector that I mentioned before. And we'll see how this transparent mold looks. I'm really liking the transparency of this mold. I think it's going to come out really good when we do it with a much uh, brighter color. If we do this with uh, chartreuse or pink, I think it's going to look sweet. I'm going to check back in with you guys when this is cooled off. I'm going to mix up some more plastic in the meantime. All right, I got bored and I pulled the sprue out, but we're going to take this apart and see how they came out now. All right, time for the reveal. Here's the top two. Now, this one's a different story. We're going to try to um, uh, increase the mold pressure on this, or increase the clamping pressure on this for the next go around. But these are three very fishable baits. All right, we're going to mix up chartreuse for our second color. We should be able to see that a lot better in the mold. Maybe not chartreuse because it's yellow, but when we get to the pink, I think that's really going to show up nice. Yeah, that bottom tail flashed out again. I think I should have put another bolt in there. I'll try to fix that for you guys before you download this. Time for pink. And we'll see you guys when this is all done.
Now, I did tighten this down with a wrench, but we had a little uh, whoopsie daisy, I'll call it, on the bottom. So if you're going to do that, be very careful. Luckily, it didn't crack all the way through, so this mold still works because I'm not printing another one of these at $25 a pop or whatever it was. To the reveal now. Alright, so these are going to be our pink color. Alright, so here we have our final results. They came out pretty good. You guys can download this mold for free in the description below. So the only thing I'm going to do to these guys now is I'm going to stick them all in a bag and I'm going to put some scent on them. Now Pro Cure makes some great scents. This is their flounder pounder uh, variety, flavor, whatever you want to call it. This is what I'm going to be using, but they have tons of different soft plastic scents for whatever you want. Like there's like anchovy, medheading, there's freshwater. So you could really put whatever you want on it. These are designed for flounder fishing, so that's why I'm using a flounder pounder. But if you guys live down south and you wanted to use these grubs, you could put like a shrimp flavor or something on there. I see no reason why the smaller 4-inch version wouldn't work for some kind of freshwater uh, presentation. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys have something special you want to see that you want me to make, leave a comment down below. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.